Are these supplements the gate kept secrets to permanent weight loss? Honestly, this is one of those videos I never thought I was gonna make. Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today we'll be discussing the weight loss supplement world, the good, the bad, and the super sketch. A super quick thank you to my dietitian colleague, Erin Davis, for research assistance on this video. Erin is amazing. She specializes in insulin resistance from a weight neutral lens. So I will be leaving a link below to her website if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one support. Also a reminder to hit up my description for my full disclaimer and trigger warning. We will be talking about weight loss and numbers. I also I just want to make it super duper clear here that I am not advocating for the use of any of these supplements. I have been asked about weight loss supplements ad nauseum, and ultimately my job as a science communicator is to put my own bias aside and to communicate the evidence as best as I can to help you make the most informed decisions in this sea of misinformation. And you can also find a link to my Hunger Crushing Combo ebook for free and my LTK page for this week's looks. First, I want to talk about today's sponsor, June's Journey. So everyone who knows me knows that I love a good murder mystery. And a few months ago, I discovered June's Journey as an alternative to just watching true crime docs on Netflix. And it has been a really, really great way to unwind. Much better than Dateline, that's for sure. But this is a really cool hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s, available for free on Android and Apple mobile devices and on desktop through Amazon or Facebook. I heard about it through some on my team and apparently it has a huge huge following like more than 30 million people are playing this thing worldwide i used to never play online games but it has become a really nice distraction after a really busy day that actually requires some brain and critical thinking skills this has got a solid storyline based around the protagonist june who is on a quest to solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's secrets the beautiful, colorful graphics are set in the glamorous 1920s, and you get the chance to customize, remodel, and fix your mansion and garden island. I am really admittedly into design, especially when I don't have to pay for it. So this has definitely become my favorite part of the game. So if you want to try out June's Journey yourself, click the link in my description or use the QR code on screen to download the game on Android and iOS mobile devices or through Facebook games on your PC. Okay, so the world is clearly on an Ozempic kick, with loads of lay people online trying to mimic its groundbreaking results with diet and over-the-counter supplements. This new weight loss drug could be more effective than Ozempic. Yeah, so let's talk about L-carnitine and why I use it to help me with my fat loss. So The five weight loss supplements that actually work. If you want to shred and burn fat, you need to get on my favorite supplement. The fat burning supplement world is definitely not new. We've had decades of huge promises from the natural health community, alongside a few major controversies and some tragic fatalities along the way. So let's take a look at the best evidence that we have to date. And at the end, we will see which of these supplements are actually worth the hype. First up, I want to talk about berberine. So berberine is kind of like the hottest supplement of 2023. And I've got a whole video discussing all of the evidence on this so-called nature's Ozempic. But as a quick recap, berberine works like weight loss drugs in a few key ways. So it produces intestinal GLP-1, it may help to optimize the gut microbiome for carbohydrate metabolism, and it may inhibit the enzyme that determines how much sugar your body absorbs. The result is that it helps people lose weight. How much weight? Let's talk about it. Research suggests that after three months of berberine supplementation, participants lost about 3% of their body weight. Is this significant? I mean, it definitely could be for some people, but if you're 150 pounds, that means just 4.5 pound loss in three months or less than 0.4 pounds per week. I don't wanna poo poo on anybody's party, but not exactly something that I would write home about or compare with a powerful pharmaceutical like Ozempic, especially considering that the clinical dosage is between 1.5 and 2 grams per day, split up in three to four doses per day. That said, I think it has a lot of potential as an adjunct, especially for insulin resistance. I definitely recommend checking my full video if you want to know more about that. 
Moving on, let's talk about conjugated linoleic acid or CLA. So CLA is naturally found in meat, dairy, and eggs, but it's been a popular supplement in the fitness and weight loss world for many years because it's thought to modulate fat and insulin metabolism. The research, however, is less than conclusive. So if we look at one 2019 review, it concluded that CLA supplementation may help to support weight loss and fat loss. So one of the 2019 randomized control trials found that supplement Supplementing with three grams a day for over three months resulted in lower body fat mass, body fat percentage, and trunk fat. Another 2013 trial basically found the same, but other studies haven't found these significant perks. So for example, a 2017 systematic review of 32 clinical trials concluded that CLA did not significantly impact waist circumference or blood sugar levels. It's also really important to point out that when we say significant in research lingo, we just mean statistically significant, not necessarily significant to you. So if we look at the actual numbers, the 2013 trial found that over 24 weeks, the CLA group lost less than one kilogram more, less than one centimeter off their waist, and less than one BMI point compared to the control group. Oh, and you need to take three grams a day to see any of those effects. Is that a win? I don't know. That's ultimately up to the individual to decide. But again, I think it's clear that it's not a weight loss pill. Next, let's talk about capsaicin. So capsaicin is the compound that makes spicy food spicy. And it's also the basis for the popularity of all these retro diet crazes like the master cleanse and other cayenne pepper based detoxes. But there are a number of potential mechanisms for its use in the weight loss world. For one, it may increase fat oxidation and inhibit fat cells. Two, it might induce thermogenesis, aka speed up the metabolism by activating brown fat cells. Three, it may suppress appetite and increase satiety by regulating neuron circuits in the hypothalamus. And four, it may positively alter the gut microbiome. And the research on spicy food is actually quite promising. One review of the literature found that capsaicin supplementation helped to improve energy expenditure, thermogenesis, fat oxidation, and helped to reduce body weight, mainly because of the slight uptick in metabolism and the reduction in calorie consumption. Another meta-analysis of 15 randomized control trials found that supplementing with capsaicin resulted in reduced BMI, body weight, and waist circumference when compared to the control group. But again, how much are we talking in real life? Well, honestly, it's not that great. We're talking less than a pound difference in a few months and 0.1 kilograms per meter square in BMI. Is that gonna make a difference to your health? Highly unlikely, highly unlikely. You'd also likely have to consume a ton of actual spicy food to meet the clinical dosage of 100 to 200 milligrams of capsaicin per day. Now, if you like spicy food, then I say, Sure, there are clear benefits here in the research, but if weight loss is your goal, there's probably not a significant enough of an impact to justify the cost of the pills. God bless it, my brother. I can't do it. Or to spend all of your days on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Next, let's talk about green coffee bean extract. You know, the stuff that Dr. Oz got in really bad hot water for promoting on his show. So green coffee bean extract comes from unroasted raw coffee beans that contain antioxidants called chlorogenic acids, which are otherwise destroyed when we roast coffee. Otherwise, we would get the same benefits from drinking coffee every day. And while Dr. Oz did get in big trouble for using a completely bogus and since retracted study that cost the supplement company who sponsored its fabrication a whopping $3.5 million in court, there is some legitimate evidence to support its use. One 2019 review of a total of 13 articles with 16 randomized control trials found that supplementing with green coffee bean extract resulted in a significant reduction in BMI and a reduction in body weight in those who are already considered overweight or obese. If we look at a few studies specifically, a recent 2021 randomized control trial found that folks who supplemented with with chlorogenic acid isomers, AKA the active ingredient in green coffee bean extract, had greater body fat reduction when compared to the placebo. We also have a slightly older 2019 study that found it reduced weight and waist circumference when compared to the control. But again, how much are we really talking here? 
Well, the 2021 study found that it resulted in 0.22% loss in body fat, and the waist circumference in the 2019 study found that it shaved off 0.3 centimeters off of the participant's waist. I mean, I could take a big poop and I would lose more than that. So again, hardly enough to make any kind of legitimate difference in one's health. So yeah, I think the FTC was right to crack down on all these bogus coffee bean supplements. This is one that I think we can all agree should be a big fat pass. But while we're talking about green things, let's talk about green tea extract. So like green coffee beans, green tea extracts fat burning properties comes down to its antioxidant content. Green tea is rich in a catechin antioxidant called EGCG, which may help to enhance body fat oxidation while suppressing hunger hormones. So what does the research say about this? Well, let's talk about it and gear up because this one is a bit of a roller coaster. One study found that after 12 weeks of treatment with high dose green tea extract, women with central obesity experienced significant weight loss, reduced waist circumference, lower hunger hormones, and a consistent decrease in their total cholesterol and LDL plasma levels without any kind of side effects or adverse effects. Another randomized control trial in overweight participants found that green tea extract enhanced the impact of an exercise program by further reducing weight, body mass index, waist to hip ratio, and body fat percentage. That said, other studies have not been so generous. One long-term 12-month study found that green tea extract resulted in no difference in BMI, fat mass, or body fat percentage. And another large review found that any amount of statistically significant weight loss found in the literature is highly unlikely to be clinically relevant. And that's because when we look at the data, it's less than a kilogram body weight loss or a difference in BMI of 0.2 kilograms per meter square. Not something worth throwing a party over in my opinion. It's also worth noting that there have been some serious adverse side effects associated with weight loss supplements containing green tea extract. Slim Quick, for example, has notoriously been called out for causing liver injury due specifically to the green tea extract. I really wanted to rank these in terms of best to worst, but Honestly, they're all a little dismal. If any, I would give berberine the gold prize only because it has a really good safety profile, but at just 3% weight loss, again, it's not a magic pill. And this is really just scratching the surface when it comes to these alleged fat burning or weight loss supplements. There are so, so, so many dubious snake oil products out there making completely asinine claims, which they can kind of get away with because the supplement world is the wild west. It's unregulated, which also means that a lot of them are subject to overages, underages, and in some cases, fatal contamination. So just because something is natural doesn't mean that it's benign. And even if it is high quality and safe, just because its claims originate from a shred of decent research, it doesn't mean that it's gonna have any real impact in real life. Honestly, you'd probably see way better clinical results and save your money just by like going to bed an hour earlier or taking up some kind of anti-stress routine like meditation, neither of which cost any money and are 100% safe. And on that note, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up, hit up my description for my free hunger crushing combo ebook, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.